Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'll be sharing my weight loss journey, how I've lost 77 pounds so far since starting in August 2021. I think that after we hit the 60 mark, it, it seems as if weight loss is so difficult for many of us. I know that I have certainly had much difficulty in shedding this of uh, these pounds and I still have a little bit to go. I still want to shed about another 20 or 25 pounds, but I have to tell you, I am really excited for going from a size 20 to a size eight. That has been, it, it's, it makes, it just makes me feel so much better. Before I start sharing with you some of the things that I have done to get me to this point, I'd like to let you know that I have absolutely no affiliation whatsoever with Weight Watchers or WW as it is now referred to. I am also, I am not a nutritionist. I am not a, a, a dietitian. I am not an expert. All I am doing is sharing with you what has worked for me, some of the things that I have learned throughout the way in order to achieve this weight loss at my age. As I mentioned, I am 64 years old. I will be turning 65 in September. So I thought, you know, it's, it's just so hard to shed the weight. And I have tried the pills, I have tried the injections. I have been on MRC, which worked the metabolic research, which worked really well, but it really limits what we eat. And what I found with the WW um, way of eating, it's more of a way of life. It's not so much a diet as we know it. It's more of a healthy way of eating, of really paying attention to the foods that we eat, to the portions that we have, and it's a way of life. I feel that I can, when I achieve my goal weight, and my goal right now is to hit a size six. Once I hit my size six, I am going to be a happy camper and be able to maintain it without giving up the foods that I love. A little bit about my eating habits. I do not eat red meat. That is not something that is against the WW plan. That is just me because I feel better. As far as the proteins are that I have chosen that make me feel better are seafood and fish primarily. I have eggs, egg whites. I'll have beans occasionally, maybe once a week, I'll have some beans and I'll have chicken breast. I just, and I, I gave up red meat. I don't eat pork, I don't eat lamb, I don't eat any of those. And that has just been my choice. I find that I feel so much better with the foods that I am eating, but it is certainly not a requirement on the WW program. The app also makes it very, very simple for me to track my points, to track my weight, and really keep me focused and paying attention to what I eat. Some of the other things that I have incorporated is walking. I started out just walking about a thousand steps or 2000 steps a day when I first started on the program, once I came back to Florida. And each, every couple of weeks, every month, I just added some more steps. I pushed myself and I, it's not power walking, it is just walking. Just walking around the block, that's how I started. And now I am up to 12,000 steps a day. So how I achieve that, I don't walk them all at the same time, but rather I'll walk before I drink my coffee. Yes, before I drink my coffee, I go out, I take the dog out, I walk around the block two blocks, and that's half a mile, and that gets me about 2,000 steps. So that's what I do first thing in the morning. Then I go back out probably around 10 o'clock, take the dog out again, do the same thing. And there is another half a mile or another 2000 steps. After I have lunch around 
12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, I will, um, right after lunch, I'll go out for another walk. I do the same thing after dinner. Around 8 o'clock, I go for another walk. But I have worked myself to that. I didn't do this in one day. What are some of the changes that I've seen? My knees don't hurt. I had a lot of joint pain when I first started on this program. And little by little, as the weight started coming off, the knee pains started going away and nothing has helped me more than that. My goal, to be able to walk between 15, 18,000 steps a day. I also, I have an, uh, an eye watch. It reminds me when I need to stand up. So about every hour or every hour and a half, I'll get up and just, I don't even go outside. I just, this is a town home. So I just go up and down the stairs. I walk around the living room. I go to the window, I'll water a plant. And that, and that just, it adds the steps and it just keeps me moving. So that was one of the ways also that I started just walking that little bit. My watch would remind me if you have a Fitbit, it, it will also remind you, hey, it's time to walk, whether it's every hour or every two hours, if you're in an office or you're home, you might get up and do some walking. If you're in a climate that's, that the weather doesn't permit you going outside, as I have here in Florida, there are videos that you can follow that are just walking away the pounds, if you will. I think that was one from a few years ago. And I would just do it from the comfort of my living room. I think it's a lot better to walk outside to get that fresh air, especially if you live near a lake or a park, to just get your, your blood flowing. But if you don't have the opportunity to do that and all you have at home, you have a treadmill, that's a good thing too. Take advantage of what you have, or as I mentioned, a YouTube video. Drinking water is also really important. I started out with about 70 ounces a day and I've worked my way up to about 100 or 120 ounces a day. So how do I do it? How do I prevent that water from not being so boring, if you will? I just found this one. It's ZOA, ZOA. This has about 10 calories. It has 0, 0.0 sugar. I don't eat any alcohol sugars. I don't add any, I have eliminated all the sugar from, my and that again, that has been my choice. That is not a requirement on, on the WW program. This has caffeine and I love this. I, I'll have one of these at about 10 o'clock in the morning. These are awesome too. These are energy. This is the protein, uh, what's it called? Protein 2.0. These have one point, no caffeine. It has 15 grams of protein. Again, no sugar. So these are really good and they count as water. My sparkling ice. I cannot be without my sparkling ice. This has zero calories and I'm sorry, this has five calories but it's loaded with vitamins and minerals. So I'll have one or two of these a day. Also from Sparkling Ice, if I need a little bit of a pick-me-up, this Sparkling Ice has caffeine. All of those are contributing to the amount of water because they do count of water. Of course, nothing is going to replace our real water. And I always have a few of these uh, bottles per day. Some of the things that I have incorporated into my journey as time has go, gone on, I am now doing intermittent fasting. I started off with eating for 10 hours and fasting for 14 hours. I am now working towards eating for six hours and fasting the rest of the time. And that, again, that has been my choice because I have found that it really helps me feel a lot better. I drink my coffee black. Therefore, I don't have to work, I, I, I don't, creamers and all of that, that, that has never been something that I have 
enjoy if I want to have an espresso in the middle of the afternoon and I just want to add a little bit of cream to it, what I do is I just add a little bit of the Premier Protein and these are available in many flavors. These have 30 grams of protein, one gram of sugar and 160 calories. But if I just add an ounce or two, whether it's to my smoothie or it's to my coffee, we're only talking about a point, if that. I've never been a milk drinker ever since, I don't think I've drank milk since I was about seven. Most recently, I wanted to incorporate some smoothies. So I have the almond milk. This one is by Silk and there are lots of different, uh, there's a, a huge variety doesn't have any flavor. If it did, I probably wouldn't be able to drink it. This has 30 calories, four ounces has zero points. I usually um, add to my smoothies. I make my smoothie in the blend jet. I add six ounces of my almond milk. I add two ounces of my Premier Protein, Orgain Protein, and I love this. This has this has six grams of prebiotic uh, and fiber. There's 21 grams of plant protein and there is zero sugar. I like to buy uh, the chocolate fudge one because I'm a chocolate freak. So what I do is the two scoops will only have two points and I add them to my smoothie. Something else that I have added and now I've started adding it to my protein, uh, to my smoothies, is the collagen from Timi, and I added also from Timi, and this was, I purchased it all, uh, the Gut Love. I feel this has really helped with the bloating. I cannot believe the difference, and all I do is add one scoop into my smoothie, and it, it, re really, it doesn't really have any taste. Neither does the collagen. I haven't tried it in anything else. Yesterday, I was craving a wedge salad. So I had a wet wedge salad loaded with blue cheese dressing, blue cheese crumbles, um, some tomatoes, and I had a glass of wine. That totaled about 30 points. And that's okay. I, did, I, I never want to deprive myself. So today, what I'll have for lunch, I like these yogurts from Oigos. These are triple zero, zero added sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, zero fat. These only have one point. I love them. And they have 15 grams of protein. What I do to add a little bit more protein to it, or if I want a little bit of a crunch, I just found this. This is the Catalina Crunch. It's keto friendly, there's zero grams of sugar, it's got 11 grams of protein, nine grams of fiber. This is 100% plant-based, soy-free, non-GMO, high in fiber and no sugar alcohols. I'm also trying to stay away from anything that contains sugar alcohols because I feel then I crave more sugar for, a, they taste kind of like, a, cinnamon crunch cereal so we what you have here is 110 calories as i mentioned 11 grams of protein and it's only two points for a quarter cup i just add a quarter i add a little less than a quarter cup probably like two tablespoons i add it into my yogurt and that really fills me up because for this morning because i had such a big lunch yesterday so high in points then today i had my smoothie for breakfast and for lunch a little later on i'll have my yogurt with my crunch and that'll hold me till dinner for dinner i'll have some shrimp with a stir fry of vegetables and with all the water that i drink and that smoothie really fills you up the more i feel the more protein that i have this really fills me up too these catalina crunch i got this at costco i'm sure that it's available on amazon as well something that i just recently added and i i'll let you know because i'm keeping track of my weight i'm keeping everything the same as far as my walking 
and as far as what I'm eating. What I've integrated is from Tea Me, the Skinny Tea, and the Colon. This is a 30-day detox. So you have the Skinny Tea every morning, and then you have the Colon Tea every other evening. So I will let you know how that works. As I said, I'm not changing anything else except that I am adding this so I could monitor if it really helps, aids in my weight loss. Sometimes we hit plateaus and that's absolutely normal and something that I did when I hit that plateau, I just increased my steps. I, that's all I did, increase my water, increase my steps, but I eat my protein. And if I want to snack, if I want to have a slice of pizza, I don't deprive myself. Think that when we deprive ourselves, that's when it's, we feel like, okay, I can't do this. So that is really important. All right, I hope this has helped some of what I'm doing for this weight loss journey. Please know that if I am able to do this, you can certainly do it as well. And if you're happy at, your, at the weight that you are, then stay there. It's all about what makes us feel good, what makes us happy, how we feel about our bodies, really. For me, it's more important to feel good, for my knees not to hurt, and, it's a, and I need to feel better about myself. I need, when I got into that pair of um, size eight jeans from Chico's, I was a happy camper. That is what makes me feel good. That gives me a reason to continue. Let me know if you follow the WW journey. I hope this video was helpful if you are trying to jumpstart or if you're trying to break a plateau. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.